Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss magnetic circuit versus electric circuit. So let's jump into the topic. So our today's comparison is between magnetic circuit and electric circuit. A closed path of magnetic flux is known as magnetic circuit. Here we have a solenoid and flux established in this solenoid like this. So the closed path of this flux is known as magnetic circuit and the similar to this in electrical circuit is a closed path of current is known as electrical circuit. So this is a battery, a resistance and the setup. So when we connect this battery to this resistance current flows and this closed path of electric current is known as electrical circuit. So this is magnetic circuit and this is electrical circuit. In magnetic circuit flux is equal to MMF by reluctance. The similar to that in electrical circuit electric current is equal to MMF divided by resistance. The flux is measured in Weber whereas electric current is measured in ampere. The flux does not flow but sets up in magnetic field whereas electric current flows through the circuit. So what does this mean? This means the way current flows through electrical circuit the flux exactly not flows the way electric current flows but it actually sets up in magnetic field. Then the next is MMF is force because of which flux sets up in magnetic circuit. So here we have a magnetic circuit. MMF is equal to N into I where N stands for number of turns and I stands for current passing through this conductor. When we apply MMF, a magnetic flux sets up in magnetic circuit. Whereas in electrical circuit, EMF is the force because of which current flows through the circuit. This is the circuit. If we apply electromotive force, then because of this force, current flows through the circuit. The next is reluctance opposes the flow of flux. So what exactly the reluctance is? Let's understand this through animation. Reluctance is basically a property which opposes the setting up of flux in magnetic circuit. Let's see what is similar in electrical circuit. Resistance opposes the flow of current. So basically resistance is the property of material which opposes the flow of current. So this is what the resistance is. So we can compare reluctance in magnetic circuit and resistance in electrical circuit. Flux density is B which is equal to flux phi divided by A cross sectional area and flux density is measured in Weber per meter square. Let's see here. Flux passing through unit cross sectional area is known as flux density. Right? Now let's see what is the similar term to flux density in electrical circuit. Current density is J which is equal to current I divided by cross sectional area A and the unit of current density is ampere per meter square. What exactly the current density is? Current density is current flowing through a unit cross sectional area is known as current density. So the flux density in magnetic circuit is similar to current density in electrical circuit. Permeance, permeability and reluctivity are the terms used in magnetic circuit. The similar term in electrical circuit 
are conductance, conductivity and resistivity. If you want to know in detail about all these terms, there is separate video for all these terms and the link for that video is in below description. So you can watch it later on. So now let's move further. Magnetic lines of force move from N to S pole. So let's have an example of that and with animation let's understand. Actually magnetic lines of force flows from S to N from within the magnetic material and from N to S outside the magnetic material which you can see from here. The similar in electrical field electrical lines of force moves outward for positive charge and inward for negative charge. So this is the positive charge and electrical lines of force will always flow outward whereas in negative charge electrical lines of force will always come inward. Similar to magnetic field there is no closed loop. You can see from here that in magnetic field there is a closed loop of these lines of force whereas in electrical circuit there is no closed loop. From positive charge electrical lines of force will always go outside and for negative charge the electrical lines of force will always come inward. So we can say that there is no closed loop in electrical charge. The reluctance of magnetic circuit is not constant. It varies with the value of flux density. See here, the flux density at this section is different and the flux density here is also different. So the reluctance to these magnetic lines of force is different at this point and different at this point. Now, similar to this in electrical circuit, the resistance of electrical circuit is almost constant. So this is the another comparison that reluctance is not constant whereas the resistance in electrical circuit is always constant except the temperature is constant. There is no perfect insulator for magnetic circuit. It can set up even in non-magnetic material. For example, we are placing a non-magnetic material here, but still you can see that a magnetic material can set up beyond that material. See, if we talk about electrical circuit, there are many perfect insulators for electrical circuit. For example, if we place any insulator between positive charge and negative charge, then this electrical lines of force of positive charge cannot cross this perfect insulator. So there is no transfer of electrical lines of force from positive section to the negative section. Magnetic intensity H is equal to Ni by L where N is number of turn, I is current flowing through that conductor and L is the length of magnetic material. Similar to that in electrical circuit, electrical field intensity E is equal to V by D where V is potential and D is the distance. MMF drop is equal to phi into S flux into reluctance. The similar to that in electrical circuit, voltage drop is equal to I into R. I stands for current and R stands for resistance. So this is what all comparison between magnetic circuit and electrical circuit. The next I am going to show you the full comparison so you can pause the video and note it down if you wish to. But before going to further if you have any query if you have any doubt you can ask me anytime. Just give a question just give a doubt in my comment section below and I will get back to you very soon. So let's have a quick look to full comparison. This is the full comparison 
between magnetic circuit and electrical circuit just pause video here recall everything if you want to note down note down everything and now we are moving towards the next section so this is a full comparison between magnetic circuit and electrical circuit friends if you have any doubt please write a comment and i will get back to you very soon